God bless you. A good morning, good morning, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jesus. We bless you, Lord. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you. Oh, we worship you. We worship you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We worship you. Comfort. God bless you. We worship you. Share to the group. Share to anywhere you can share. We worship you. Thank you, Lord. Yes. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord of Lord. We thank you, Jesus. <laughs> oh, we worship you. Brother Lazarus Aban, you are welcome. From Niger, you are welcome. We worship you. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. We worship you, Lake Cabriande. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for another day. Today is our final day. Today is the seventh day of our fasting and prayers. Thank you, Jesus, for giving us the strength to go to embark on this glorious journey. Thank you, Jesus, Brother Ima. Thank you, Jesus, Gifty. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, God bless you all for joining me right now. Brother Daniel, God bless you for logging in. All those that have just logged in, one of you, you've just logged in, you're, you've started feeling pains in your heart. One of you just logged in right now. You, are, you, you have started experiencing pains in your heart. It is something that is new. It is something that is new. Pain in your heart, like you feel pain within your heart. Be relieved right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Be relieved right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Anything that they've set in motion to attack you, to break your heart, to break your heart, to break your heart, to stop your heart from, from functioning. Today in the name of Jesus Christ, I destroy by fire. I destroy by fire. I lose you from every heart attack. I lose you from every heart attack and I cancel any heart failure, anything that have the name like heart failure. I cancel it in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever they've set in motion, I command it to go back to where it is coming from right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I lose you. I lose your heart. I lose your heart right now. I lose you from that heart pain in the name of Jesus. Be restored. Oh, thank you, Jesus. From Anaja, may God visit you wherever you are right now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Jesus. Thank you, Brother Ima. Amen. I receive in good faith. Master Ima, I've seen you. Kojani, my sister, I've seen you. God bless you all for logging in. Samuel Boaten, God bless you. God bless you all. God bless you all. Rosemary Smith, God bless you. God bless you so much, Brother Imano Mori. I've seen you. God bless you so much. May God bless you all. May all your efforts be crowned with victory. Every effort that you are putting this year in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the God that remembered Isaac. The God that remembered Isaac on the land, on the famine land, that whatever he sowed in that year, he reaped in a hundredfold. May that God remember you this year. Whatever you are sowing, whatever effort that you are putting in your life, whatever smile that you are putting in the face of people, what in, in Whatever ways that you are making people smile, may you reap it in a hundredfold. This year is a year of recovery. This year is a year of restoration. Though we are in calamity, though we are in a lot of misery or a lot of problems around us, 
the situation is so hard the pandemic the second phase is even is even is even dangerous than the first phase but we trust a god that is the god of healing we trust a god that have that knows his people the god of the the ancient days <laughs> he is the same god in our day i want you to put your trust in god whatever is happening in this world do not panic <laughs> do not panic God told the Israels, God told the Israels through prophet Moses in the book of Exodus chapter 14, verses number 13, where he said, be still, the battle is of the Lord. The battle is God. It is God that will fight this battle, the, the battle between virus and humanity. It is only God that can fight. No doctor can fight too. Even the vaccines that they are saying, oh, we have gotten a vaccine, we've gotten this, we've gotten this, they are even they, they are saying they are not assured. They can't assure humanity of 100% cure. That is why they have this first phase, second, first dose, second dose. If they have a, 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 a how do you say, a dose that can cure, I think it will be once. Once. Yes, they are trying their knowledge. They are trying, they are trying all their wisdom. Only God can protect you. I trust in the God that was able to put a hedge around the man to the extent that the devil have to seek his, his opinion or his permission before he can even touch a cup of water in the life of that man. I am introducing to you a God, the God that can surround somebody, give him a, a divine protection to the extent that the devil have to join a meeting when all the children of, of, of God gathered in his presence. When I studied the book of Job, let me tell you one lesson I learned before we go straight, as we are, let, as we are waiting for people to join. When I studied about the, just the first chapter of the book of Job, the Bible said that the day that the time that the children of God they met, all oh, the children they came, they came to meet in the presence of God. Ha, have you sat and think about that specific day? I was saying that that day was 31st. If you agree with me, the day that all oh, people, let me read the scripture and let me give you a clue. The reason why me, for instance, I don't believe so many preachings, so many pastors say, I don't believe. <laughs> if you tell me I shouldn't uh, celebrate Christmas, I don't agree. Because let me read something to you and I will give you the clue. The reason why I don't agree to so many things. Maybe they have their views, but I don't care. Yes. The book of Job chapter 1, verses number 6. You are waiting for them to log in. It said, one day the angels came to present themselves before the Lord. And Satan also came with them. They came to present themselves before the Lord. They all came. When you read uh, the King James Version, he will tell you the children of God. This is, an, uh, this is a new uh, version. Where is the King James Okay. I wish I could get it here, but I can't get it on uh, this area. Let me just, yeah, uh, King James, where are you? Okay. James chapter 1, verses number, let me read. <laughs> As we keep waiting for them to join, I just want to build something for you to understand something here. It said, now there was a day. When the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord, when the sons of God, they came and present themselves before the Lord, and Satan came also among them. So on 31st, don't think you are the only person that go to church. Satan is there. Satan is there, and when he comes, he comes and seek permission on righteous people because righteous people, God has placed a hedge. Let me read and explain something to you just five minutes as we keep waiting for them to join. If you are in the global group, global platform, you can share on the platform for me. Somebody should volunteer every day to share because many people wait in the group. 
to get the link uh, to join us. So when you come, you do that voluntary work. If you're in any of the WhatsApp group, you do well to share the link to the group for them so that they can also click on the link, join us and pray with us. Hallelujah. Do it for me. Those on the local platform, share to the group. Gro those on the global platform, you can share it for us. Those on, on the women ministry platform, you can share it. Those in the singles group, you can share it. Any group that you are in, share the, share the broadcast. Share it and invite somebody and the Lord God Almighty for bless you. Hallelujah. God bless you for being obedient. God bless you for being obedient. God bless you. Let's continue. Let's continue. I don't want to start whilst others are still uh, on their way coming. That is why I am starting this uh, little bit teachings to build you up so that we wait for them to log in. I have shared the link to the global platform and I know those waiting there will also get access to join us. Yes, he said, now there was a day where the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord and Satan came also among them. And the Lord said unto Satan, where comest thou? Then Satan answered the Lord said, from going to and fro in the earth and from walking up and down on it. And the Lord said unto Satan, Has thou considered my servant Job, that there is none like him on this earth, a perfect and an upright man, one that fear God and escaped evil? Uh, then Satan answered the Lord and said, Do Job fear God not? Hast not thou made a hedge about him and about his house and about all that he had on every side? Has thou, thou hast blessed the work of his hands and his substances is increased in the land. You know, this story tells us that already Satan has been compassing Job. Yes, he was seeking access to enter the gate of Job, to enter the, 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 uh, the, uh, the dwelling place of Job. But because of the hedge that God has praised around this man, devil have to go present himself before God before he can seek permission to touch anything in the name of Job, being his children, being his substance, being everything in his, in his name. This is what God they have done unto those that are righteous. Those that are righteous. This is how God is protecting us. That is why I say, thousands shall fall at your side. Ten thousand shall fall at your right side. But none of them will harm you. You only witness with your eye. Many of us in our presence, people are dying here and there. Couples are dying. One is here, one is there. The other one died. Why is the other the other doesn't know the partner is dead? They are all striving to, to survive. They are all striving to live. You are just witnessing with your eye. You are just seeing with your eye. This is the protection of God unto you. This is the protection that I want to tell you. God has praised on his people. Those that he know, those that he have, those that have the mark of the seal of the Holy Spirit on their forehead. Those that have their name in the book of life. As I'm speaking to you now, those that God have, God knows them, knows them as children. God has praised a hedge. They will poison you. You will never die. They will break you. You are unbreakable. They will try to stop you. You are unstoppable. They will try to kill you. You will never die. You will eat poison. That poison will not kill you. You will step on serpent. They will never bite you. The venom of serpent can never kill you. They will inject you and sit somewhere waiting for you to faint and die. You will never die. Why? Because the Bible says in Psalm 91... Oh my God, I don't know. Wait, maybe you don't know the God that we are serving. 
If you know the mighty God that we are serving, you will never let anything bring you down. If you know the powerful man that I am speaking about right now to you, you will never let the fear and the panic of this elder, what you are going through, bring you down. You will never let anything frustrate you. The book of Psalm 91, is a he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. It says, you shall say unto your Lord, ah, you are my refuge. You shall say unto your Lord that the Lord is my refuge and he is my footless. In him I trust and I don't trust in, in stones. I don't trust in trees. I don't trust in ordinary man. I don't trust in doctors. I don't trust in physicians. In him we keep our trust. Why? Because surely this God will deliver us from the snail of the fowler. He is going to deliver us from the snail of the fowlers and from the noisome pestilence, the pestilence that is running, flying everywhere, the pestilence that travel without, uh, without visas, without, without document, that is traveling around the country, the continent, traveling everywhere. He said he is going to deliver you from this pestilence. This pestilence will no longer have impact or effect in your life you will get the virus you will never die you will be afflicted you will never die you will visit the same hospital that people go and they bury them the same hospital that people go that they don't return the same hospital people sleep and they, they are hopeless they are effortless you go you get the strength and return back yes he said because your trust is in the lord People trust in chariot. People believe in graven image. But your trust in is in Elohim. Jehovah Raphael. Jehovah Elohim. 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 That is where you place your trust. The Bible says he is going to deliver you from the snare of the fowler. Surely he will deliver you from accident. Surely he will deliver you from every plot and scheme of the devil. Every trap that they lay, every snare they lay, you will step in that snare, it will never grab your leg. You will step in that snare, the pit, the area that everybody step and they just arrest him or they just deport him. You step there and they will, they will promote you. The level that everybody reach, that they will be sharing tears because they will be living in a life of hopeless, no hope. You will get there and you will be jubilating. You will be jubilating. You will be jubilating. Why? Because you've made the Lord your God your refuge. You've made the Lord your God. You, all your trust is in him. Yes. And the God is saying, you shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor the arrow that fried by day. You are not going to be afraid of the terror that is in night. The air to shook, you will never be afraid. Oh, war here and there, contentions here and there, city rising against city, nations rising against nations, kingdoms rising against kingdoms. You only witness with your eye. You will be unshakable. You will stand st firm. You only wait for the for the for the for the for the appointed time that God will, will, will set for you to destroy all those making all these things around you. Yes. Yes. That is the God we serve. That is why we encourage people to struggle, strive, and enter that narrow gate where they have placed hedge around the people that walk in that way. Those walking on that narrow gate, no harm. No harm. Problem will arise. God will be in charge. Situation will come forth. God is in charge. You get problem in your working place. God is in charge. Family will rise against you. God is in charge. Your mom, your dad will rise up against you. But God is with you. Thousands will stand against you. You are the only one. But you are going to defeat them. Ten thousand will rise up against you. But because of the thousands and millions of battalions at your back. 
That God has released at your back to support you. You will overcome the millions of people. Yes. 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 He said, you shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor the arrows that fell by day, by day, nor for the pestilence that walked in darkness, or the destruction that wasted at new day. When we talk about destruction that wasted at new day, accident is one of them. People set from work, from their home to work, and their wife have been hearing bad news. Many men, they tell their wife, oh, we are on our way coming. I just crossed from work. Please, can you prepare dinner? Is the dinner ready? She just spoke with the wife, and within a twinkle of an eye, they will call the wife again and say, run to the nearest hospital because your husband just had an attack on his way coming. A group of people, they attack him. Your husband has passed away all of a sudden. This will never meet you. It's a distraction that wasted at noon day, not midnight too. No day. There are giants, there are demons, there are spirits that are assigned to operate in the afternoon. That is why in the, in the, when you go to various hospitals, there are some specific time that people usually die. There are some specific hours in the day that people usually die in the emergency ward. I see you, I see you saying this. And in the night also, there are some specific time that people usually pass away during that time. This will never waste you. This will never waste you, waste your son, waste your parents, waste anybody that is in your dwelling. Because I have studied the Bible and I have understood it that when God saved Abraham, not Abraham alone, Lot benefited. The, the, the servant in the, in the house, of, house of Abraham, they were all under the protection. They were all guided. When God remembered Noah, not only Noah, God remembered. God remembered his children. <laughs> God remembered his in-laws. Yes. His in-laws were also remembered. So when God remember you today, your household will be remembered. Your children, everything. Your even to the, 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 the cat that is pregnant in your household, God is going to remember <laughs> them. Yes. I just want to build your faith in God. I just want to encourage you to walk out, walk, move from sins, begin to walk in the light of God. Try hard. I know it is difficult. Many of you, the things that you are doing, you don't like it. But situation and the condition has placed you in. Do not remain there. Don't remain. Try to move forward. Mm -hmm. Try to make a change. Try to make a change. The situ if situation has placed you in one position, do not remain there. Try to move forward. That is why when you see the anatomy of humans, mm -hmm. our legs are all the time moving forward. Our face is facing front. All the senses organs are facing front. This testifies that we are supposed to what? move forward on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Exodus chapter 14. When you read the book of Exodus, God, before he started or before he patterned the Red Sea, he gave a command to Moses, tell the people of the Israels to move forward. Why? Because the level that they were, they were tired. The level that they were, they have to make a, a move. They have to do something before God can make a change. Before God can dry the sea. Before God can pattern, they have to what? Make a change. Move forward. If you've made one attempt and it has failed you, move forward. If you've entered into any, any business and it has failed, that is not your end. Move forward. If you took a step for a, a step of faith in Christ and it didn't work, that is not your end. Move forward. Yes, on daily basis, pray for ideas. How to how to how to make changes in your life. Do not remain in one position. If marriage has collapsed everything in your life and the marriage is no more, don't remain there. Rise up, tide your GA. 
put yourself together. Put all the pains at your back. Put all your failures at your back. Put what happened yesterday at your back and focus on what is ahead of you. Because when one door closes, so many doors are opened, ready for you to enter. When one door closes, there are myriads of doors that are opened around you that you need to rise up, move forward, and grab one. Yes. Do not remain in one position. Move forward. Move forward. As we are bringing our today's program, uh, we, are, we are bringing to our complete of today's, um, our seven days fasting. Who is calling right now? You know, I am on life and you are calling. Yes, as we are bringing to an end our fasting and prayers, I just want to encourage you, whatever situation that the altars or the covenant in your background has placed you, move forward. Rise up and go. Tell the covenant I have power over you. Tell the covenant and the altars, though you are pulling me backwards, though you are making life difficult for me, though you are afflicting me, though my health is failing me up and down, I am rising and falling, I am gathering and scattering, I am facing See so many incompletion in my life, but I will never let you put me in one position. I, I, I am moving forward. I want you to gather faith and tell the altars, tell the witches, tell the principalities, tell the forces that are grabbing you, pushing you backward, that this year is a year of divine acceleration in my life. This year is a year of recovering, and when I begin to recover, I am going to speed. When I begin to recover, I am not remaining in that level one. When I recover, I am speeding, I am moving to my next level. I am beginning to speed. Many of you, when you cross your eye like this, and you reflect back, how God lifted you in the earlier age. In the earlier stage. How things were moving for you. That now because of sickness. You have to bear to it. That now because of sickness. You have to do so many things. That you are not supposed to do. Before you eat. Don't let this situation bring you down. Don't let your past interfere your presence. Your past is your past. Your past is your past. Move forward. Receive the grace to move it, to make a shift in your life. Receive a grace to recover all your lost glories. Receive a grace to rise up and be on your feet again. Receive the spirit, the resurrection spirit, the power that resurrected dry bones in a valley. Receive that power to resurrect again. Receive that strength to move forward. Maybe you started a project, it is down. You started the business, they have collapsed. You started the ministry, it is down. You, you invested, the, the, the bank have run away with your money. That is not your end. Find another way. Find another way. If one door closes, there are so many doors waiting for you. Many of these altars in our background, many of the covenant that our predecessors, they established the agreement that they made with trees, the agreement they made with sacred hills or rocks, the agreement that they made with all these items, creatures on this earth. Some of them are standing in our way. Some of them, what they are doing in our life is rise and fall. We rise up, they bring us down. We gather, they scatter. When they see us rising to the next level, they bring some issue to bring us down. When we get that money to go and start a project, when we get that money and think of something that is beneficial, they will scatter it. Yes, they bring problem. Either your son will fall sick, or your daughter will fall sick, or your mother will bring problem, or your husband will lose his job. So the money that you get that, that you want to build your own house. Because that altars, they are saying nobody is supposed to build. They will make you use that money to buy medication. Until that money is no more. The money that you get that, that oh, I want to move. I want to move from uh, Jamaica to USA. I want to move from Ghana to this place. The money you gather, they will make sure they scatter it. Many of the covenants, this is how they do. This is the work they do. Many of them, 
they are they, they all the time introduce sickness into the life of the family members so there is one specific sickness running through the bloodline of that family running through the bloodline of that family one sickness this is sick this is sick this is sick one lady just told me this evening when i it, it was left it i think um to, uh, 10 minutes or 15 minutes to start the broadcast she sent me a voice message and said mommy i thank you for i thank god for directing you on this program my family one sickness hepatitis b even a small girl that don't have that 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 don't know any man a virgin is suffering from this sickness and it is not one person many people in that family when you go to my father's house oh more uncles their daughters their sons they are they are suffering this sickness is what is fighting us this is what is fighting us many people cancer it will start as lumps in your breast or you'll be feeling heaviness heaviness doctors will be cross-checking finding all running all tests taking all this biopsy <laughs> and autopsy with all these titles and the next is oh you you just you get a cancer and this cancer we need to take one of the breasts off some people it is not cancer it is fibroid because the covenant in that family is to make sure the spirit that are governing this covenant or the the uh, the, the negotiation or the agreement was that nobody is supposed to make more children nobody is supposed to make more children so when you give birth to one child you start experiencing that that fibroid and it is going to block you to the extent that only that one child you can give birth again that fibroid is going to be a hindrance a hindrance and it will make sure you can impregnate again and the spirit behind they will condole connive with many of the devilish doctors they will release the word onto your life so if you accept it that when you give birth again you are going to die surely you will die this afternoon when i was in the kitchen the lord was speaking to my heart it was like i was speaking to somebody but i didn't know so I felt within me, it is the Holy Spirit that was communicating on somebody's issue to me. It, it was a biopsy report. I don't know if it is autopsy or biopsy. I don't know the difference. So unless the, the nurses, you, you, you just sit me and explain things to me. Yes. You know, and the person just accepted it as the doctor declared. As the, as the, as the result they gave to her, she just accepted it and she was so down. And within my spirit, I didn't know who that person was. And it was like the Holy Spirit was ministering to my heart that who is he that said and come to pass when God has not authorized? Who is he that said for it to come to pass when God has not authorized? Who is doctors? Who is nurses? Some of them, they will tell you this sickness, it will take you to your early grave. You will die at age 18. And if you have faith, many people with faith, the sickness doesn't kill them at age 18. They live more than age 50 before they die. But many people receive a word from the mouth of a doctor or a physician telling them this sickness, the, 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 the average years that you live on this earth, is 10 years when you have when you receive such a negative report instantly say i revoke it in the name of jesus christ i will never die i shall not die i will live and declare the works of yahweh do you know the reason why many of you this or uh, how do you say These astrologists, they predict, they predict your life and it comes to pass because everything, biopsy is a test for cancer. God bless you. Biopsy. Okay, thank you. You know, 
It is where that they, they remove. They take a card <laughs> and they're removing the card. And they'll be removing the card. And they remove cancer. <laughs> Cancerians. Oh, on this 2021, your destiny this. A man will come your way. After two months, the man will leave you. You get money after three months. In the month of July, Cancerians, uh, Gemini, uh, 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 Pisces, Aquarius, this, this, this. They will predict your life. And when you accept it, it will happen. Because words are powers. When you accept that, that is what will happen in your life. When you accept that this year you lose your relationship, this year, June, you lose it. When you accept that prediction that this year, June, a sickness will grab you, each and every day we, are, we fall to sickness. Sometimes what you eat today can make you sick tomorrow. Sometimes what you wear today, even the perfume you spray on yourself today can give you sickness tomorrow. So if you accept any negative word onto your life, that is what is coming to happen. That is what will happen. Do you know when the witches meet in the witches camp? I keep telling you there are so many mysteries in the realms of the spirit. Only witches understand. Some of them, when we begin to review those spiritual issues, only the witches in our meeting, they understand what I am saying. And those that have spiritual understanding and those that have upgraded themselves in the realms of the spirit can understand. When the, the witches and the wizards, when they meet, when they meet in their camp to conspire evil against your marriage, they don't carry your marriage on a basket too, to carry to that place. They don't carry your business on their head. Your school, they don't carry it on top of their head. They said, they said, they said, no, they are crazy. No, they don't carry it that way. They go and they release West. West, they call your name. Call your name, call your name, call your name, call your name, and they begin to release West, 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 evil West, evil West, evil West. Yes, they begin to release West. It is their mouth, this mouth, this mouth. So some of them, they'll put a, 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 a mirror in the, in the middle of them. They will go around. They'll get a cue. Sometimes we see them. We see them. So when we are describing like this, don't, don't, don't be afraid. We are not witches. So. <laughs> but we, we get access to go and witness. Sometimes the Holy Spirit take our soul when we are asleep to go and witness what they are conspiring against us. That is why sometimes we, we, we are able to reveal to you what they do over there. They, they just make a cue around, around the, the, the mirror. And they'll begin to call your soul, 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 call your soul. And your image will appear. Your soul will appear in that picture. And they, if, it, if it is a knife that they want to use to strike you, they will use that knife to strike your soul. They will choke your stomach and physically you'll be, oh, my stomach. Ah, oh, my stomach. My stomach, my stomach, my stomach. They will rush you to the hospital and that is all. And people will say, oh, he just had a stomach attack just right now. And he's dead. Yes. They have already killed you in the realms of the spirit. They have already destroyed you in the realms of the spirit. Recently, God revealed a young guy, a young guy in the early 20s. God revealed to me they were clutching the, the testicles. Yes. The, the testicles, they were clashing. Somebody was, was, it was like he wanted to bust it. You know that ball, that ball in front of men. They want to bust it, somebody. And the, and the young guy was screaming so hard. So when I got there, I was so, I was so, I was so, I was so feeling bad. I just, I didn't know what to do. Me in the realms of the sport, when I got to a place and they are, they are doing, they are, it's like they are maltreating somebody or they are harassing somebody. I just look for a stick. I would just use to strike your head right now. Sometimes I strike them. When I strike them, they leave the person that they are attacking and they begin to chase me. So by the time they come, the person has been able to escape. So I was looking for a stake. I used the stake to clutch the head. It was a woman. It was a woman. So when I wake up, I just look for the person on WhatsApp to tell him. And they told, my sister told me yesterday night. They said he had a severe hernia. So as I'm speaking to you now, sister, that young guy is in the hospital. 
he had a severe hernia but it wasn't hernia it was somebody that was that oppressing that wants to bust that balloon that balloon it was somebody mm -hmm. that wants to bust it sometimes we feel something in our body we think oh it is normal oh paracetamol can cure it not all the pains or all the sickness that paracetamol can cure not all of them that are, are panadol or bluefin or all this are painkillers can cure no this lady that told me that they have that 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 thing running through the, the uh running through the the dna of their family hepatitis b she told me the younger ones the small small girls how they used to con contract that 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 devilish uh or uh, sickness or i don't know how to put it he said they see themselves in a dream and somebody is giving them injection i did vaccination they are giving them injection and by the time they wake up they start feeling so bad they go to hospital to check and they will, they will confirm to them that they are having that hepatitis b they don't get it through eating in, in dreams they don't get it through drinking in dreams they receive it through injection Many of the incurable sickness, sickness or diseases that are difficult for, for it to be cured with this or uh, painkillers, you get a true injection in dream. When you have a dream and somebody is giving you injection, be careful. Be very, 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 very careful. Those days, one day, I, I, that, I wasn't even in a ministry. I wasn't, into, I wasn't into ministry then, but I had a dream about my own dad. And in the dream, they have grabbed my dad and they were giving him injection. And my dad, he was screaming for help. Nobody was there, but I saw they injected his hand, this side. He tried to escape, but they put the injection here. And I saw one person just push. He just pressed it. And after they pressed it, physically, my husband's, my, my father's hand, it began to like there is no heat in it no power in it it doesn't function the hand is there it was so heavy when he wake up yes i i didn't understand those days until i i i got this spiritual understanding that i got to know it was stroke that they wanted to give to my dad they wanted to inject him with stroke yes Many of you, you just receive it. You wake up, you don't even pray against it. You wake up, you don't even do anything against it. You don't, you don't tell anybody to assist you. Many of you, you joke with dreams. You joke with your dreams. God has been revealing everything that has been happening in your life. But you don't care about it. You sit there, you wake up, you eat. You just dress, you go to your work. You just dress, you go to your adoring, you, you dress, you go to your party. You don't care about your spiritual life. Your spiritual life, you don't care about it. So by the time you realize, you start feeling, oh, this, oh, symptoms or signs of this stroke in your life. And it will be too late. You know, when you see it in dream and you start praying against it, maybe you can do something about it. But when you wait for it to grab you, grab you, it is difficult to cure in one month or two months. It will take a long time. Be much cautious, cautious about your dreams that you have. Any dream that you have, even if you don't understand, that is why God has given us knowledge. Let us assist you. Many of us, we, when, we, when you tell us our dreams, we don't uh, explain it vividly because many of you, you are so down. The little thing, you'll be crying the whole day. The little thing, you'll be thinking, 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 thinking. So we just assist you in prayers. We just pray for you. We just help you to come out so that whatever that they are planning against you will not have an uh, impact on you. Yes. Yes, that is what they are doing. That is what they are doing. Sometimes they can take all your blood in dream. You see them pulling blood from you. And you start feeling so pain in one part of your body. It can be your leg. It can be anywhere they put their injection. Anywhere they put their, that, that thing that they used to uh, draw out the blood. 
And in, in dreams also, some of them, they don't even put injection. No. You only see the container in their hand. A very big container and you see blood dropping inside in their hand. Why you be, you be lying, lifeless, lifeless, not doing anything. You can't do anything. If it's not the Holy Spirit, that will help you to rise up in dream. If you die in that state or in the course of that physically, if you don't receive instant deliverance, you will die. You will die. Yes. Siren, yeah, the, the nurses and the doctors. You people should go to school. Yeah, continue so that you'll be teaching me English. Yeah, I didn't go to school. I didn't go to school. My English is, is, is a divine English. It is heavenly English that I am speaking. Yes. Yeah, we, I want us to continue with prayers. I want us to pray. I don't want to go further. Yes, as we start praying, I know the Holy Spirit will open so many things, so many things to us. We, we started with breaking the spirit of singleness. We just came to end it with breaking evil covenants and its altars in our family. Breaking evil covenants and its altars in our family. That negotiating, that evil voices that is following you. Today, all these voices it will cease in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That is my other phone. I didn't bring. Yes. All those ancient voices, it is going to cease. All the voices that are directing your life, controlling your life, creating jealousy among sisters and brothers, envy among sisters and brothers, all these all test covenant and it all test today. I declare it broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Today I was studying about the book of Isaiah 11. Isaiah chapter 11 verses number 13. God made a narration there through the prophet. He said Ephraim's jealousy would vanish and Judah's enemy would be cut off. Ephraim will not be jealous of Judah, nor Judah hostile towards Ephraim. This is two family, two relatives. Yes. Like Judah is supposed to be the son of Ephraim because Ephraim is the son, a son of Joseph. But here is the case when Joseph was no more, they replaced Ephraim. They, they, they added Ephraim to the 12 disciples to replace his father. And Judah, Ephraim is jealous of Judah. Uh -uh. Why should two brothers jealous each other? Why, why, why should brothers Brother, if I have it, it is for my sister. Why should my sister jealous me? It is the covenant that they made. And the evil holidays and evil oaths and evil vows and things that they accepted. When I studied about the Jewish life, when I was studying about the life of Jacob and his two, his two wives, it was the tradition that pushed these two ladies into to become enemy. It was the custom of that, 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 that uh, of their father's house that unless the elder one marries, the younger one don't have access to marry. So when you enter into the family, that the elders are they are born mm -hmm. in each, in each. That they don't, they don't want to marry or they can't survive in any relationship. See how the younger ones suffer. See how the younger ones suffer. And this has been creating enmity. Rahel and Leah, they were siblings living in peace, living in comfort when they were in their father's house. But because of what the authors or the, 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 the agreement in, that, in, that, in, the, in their father's house or what they believe, it creates enmity. They hated each other until death. And even transferred onto their children. Joseph and, 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 and Leah's children, they were brothers. If my son and my sister's son, why should they hate? Why should they hate my son to the stand up, killing him or selling him to strangers for them to take him as a maid? Or a servant. It is evil covenant. 
and stupidity that is in the head of many of these these demons that are operating as human beings demons in in human faces in our family i know a, a mom that was in the women fellowship or, or in one of the churches that is church of methodist where my mom is the is the head of the the yeah. uh, church the young girl a very young girl beautiful girl she was in the high school she met a lovely guy and the guy just because he wanted to marry that young girl he traced and came to see the family see what happened when the young girl the younger one went and find her fiance bring him home to introduce him to the father and the mother that this guy said he's he want to care for me so that after school after my final examination because he was in she was in the final year after the examination uh she's he's going to marry me he brought the guy and see what happened the family came together they agreed they said the guy that the the elder one is the one that is supposed to marry so if you want to marry in this family we are ready to give you the elder one the elder sister rather than the younger sister meanwhile when you cross check you get to know that this guy has already slept with the younger sister but they managed for the boy to marry the elder one and left this so these two ladies two one one oh from one parent one father one mother they sometimes fight among themselves pull out matches here and there to the extent that their fathers and mothers can't go and separate them. Yes. Because of culture, because of culture, this is what has happened. And the elder one married this guy, gave, have had three children with them. She is my age mate. She's my classmate. She was one of my best friends. That is why I know much about that situation or the, what happened. He married the guy gave birth to uh, four children, that is uh, three children. The last one that she was pregnant, the guy went and knocked somebody. He was a taxi driver. His car knocked somebody, had accident. It knocked, already the car knocked somebody and later <laughs> somersaulted. So after the car somersaulted, three people died in addition to the one person that the car knocked. So the guy had to run away. As I'm speaking to you now, nobody knows the whereabouts about of that guy. They don't know the well about. See what culture has, has done to the life of these innocent children. Many of us, the culture of our parents, it is the root cause of all the suffering. The men that we wanted to marry, they said, no, you can't marry this man. You are from this Yoruba family. You are from this family. You are from our grand family. You are not supposed to marry from this clan. So we will make sure you marry this man knowing this man they have a dark history of this quartic and all this uh demons or or, or or covenant with this old and all these forces so you push your daughter into bondage you push your daughter into something that she will let her cry the reason why we this the reason why many of us we are suffering the clan or the type of men that we we, 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 we we were expecting or we wanted to marry, they didn't allow us. The culture didn't allow us. You are from this, this city. You are not supposed to marry from this city. You are supposed to marry a man from this city. You are from here. You are not supposed to marry from here. You are supposed to marry from here. This person, the, from here to their, their hometown, it is so long. It is six hours drive. It is five hours drive. When, when you have problem, how can you come? They'll be thinking about all these things. But their family is in abroad. When they have problem way back in Africa, they are expecting them to move from abroad to Africa. But in their own country, they will tell you, the Kromo Kwanwario, hmm, from here to her hometown, it is so long. We cannot allow you to go and marry there. So the perfect man will pass by. And the remaining is chaps. 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 That will come and impregnate you. Chaps. That you labor, 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 labor. When the man gets wings, he flies away. You do all things. When the man gets a stand, he flies away. This is what we are going through. Today let every ancient 
covenant that is still standing in your way, that is still standing in your way, that is still speaking against your life, let it be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Every ancient covenant, every devilish covenant, in the name of Jesus Christ, let it be broken today. Let it be broken today. Let it be broken today. I want somebody to say, Lord, let my glory shine. Let my glory shine. Let my glory shine. Remember my father's house. Remember my mother's house. Let my glory shine. Open your mouth and say, Lord. Let my glory shine. The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. Let my glory shine. Let my glory shine. Let my glory shine. Let my glory shine. Let the seal of every covenant in my father's house, let the seal be broken. Let the seal of every covenant in my mother's house that is standing against us, that is standing in our way, that is standing against our progress. Let the seal of that covenant, let it be broken. 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 Let it be broken for our glory to manifest, for our breakthrough to manifest, for our testimony to manifest. Let all voices of hindrances and obstacles in our life be roasted by fire. Be roasted by fire. Be roasted by fire. Be roasted by fire. All voices of hindrances and obstacles, let it be roasted by fire. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, let it be roasted by fire. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, let it be roasted by fire. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, let it be roasted by fire. Let every negative household covenant affecting the destinies of people in my family, the negative household covenant, that is affecting the destinies of people in my father's house people in my mother's house let it be broken today oh my god let it be broken today oh my god let it be broken today oh my god let the seal of that household covenant affecting life in my father's house affecting life in my mother's house let the seal of that covenant let it be broken today 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 let let it be broken today. Let every covenant of rise and fall in life, in the life of our family members, the covenant of rise and fall. <laughs> Gather and scattering, gathering and scattering, rise and fall in our life, gathering and scattering in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, let it be revoked, let it be revoked, let it be revoked, let it be revoked, let it be revoked in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and pray, open your mouth and pray, open your mouth and pray, let the governor of rise and fall, rise and fall in the life of my family members, the covenant of gathering and scattering, gathering and scattering, let it be, be revoked, the covenant of fruitfulness, unfruitfulness, 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 fruitfulness let it be broken let it be broken let it be revoked let it be revoked let it be revoked open your mouth and pray let it be revoked open your mouth and pray let it be revoked right now where it goes fire where it goes fire revoked break destroy 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 where it goes fire destroy every covenant and it alters and it alters and it alters Altars in my father's house, in my father's house, in the name of Jesus, let it be broken, let it be broken, let it be broken, let it be broken. Evil covenant, evil covenant, evil covenant, fire of God, fire of God, fire of God, revoked, 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 right now, revoked, right now, revoked, right now, man, tell me, tell me, let 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 me,
Le intoropo masundayama. Zo brokoto le antarma makapa. Zuri makatayama le antarma makabiande. Makapa yado sa le intoropo masundayama. Zo brokoto le antarma makabiande. Makapa yado sa le intoropo masundayama. Zo brokoto le antarma makabiande. Let it be broken today. Let it be broken today. Let it be broken today. Today. Let it be broken to them. Let it be broken to them. And let the destinies of my father's house. Let it be re- re- let it let it be re- revealed. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let it shine. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let my glory shine. This day. This day. This day. Every evil negotiating that is affecting my Marriages. That is affecting marriages. That is affecting glory in my mother's house, in my father's house. Let it be destroyed. Let it be destroyed. Let it be broken. Today, where it goes for him. Today, where it goes for him. Set me free. Set me free. Free my soul. Free my children. Free my parents. Free my parents. Free my siblings from every negative covenant, evil covenant, evil covenant, evil covenant. Covenant, evil agreement, evil agreement, evil agreement, evil agreement, evil agreement that has praised our head, our head under the hand of any sport for it to manipulate us, for it to rule our life. For it to govern my life today, remove my head. I remove my head. I remove my head. I remove my head. I remove the head of my children. Oh my God, my God, my God, my God, my God, my God. Everywhere. Your forefathers went and praise your head. <laughs> Everywhere your forefathers went to seek for help, to seek for protection, to seek for children, that they exchange the glory of the people. We, we all hear stories from our background that there are some families, they were so wealthy, but they were not having children, so they went and exchanged the world for children. So now when you enter that family, there are millions of people there. 35 people living in one single room. No permanent job. No federal worker. Only hand to mouth. The destiny, the glory of the people was exchanged. We hear so many stories from our background that gone are the days they were finding it difficult to, to, to live long. They were dying or they lived long. And they were having money, but they were not living long. Yes. Many of them went and exchanged it. They exchanged it. They took the money. Take it and give us long life. Please, my highness, take all the money. Oh, give us long life. Instead of them to pray to God. To, to give them long life, they exchange the glory of the family for long life. Many of them exchange, yes, the, 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 the fruitfulness of women in the family for money. So there are some families, they are wealthy, but they are all in adoption. Unless you adopt babies, you can't give birth. There are some families where we are coming from, it doesn't matter the age. You can't give birth. You can't give birth. Doctors, they will diagnose you. They will do all kinds of things. They will tell you you are healthy. You are okay. There is nothing wrong with you. There is nothing wrong with your husband. Your husband is strong. You are going to give birth. They will tell you, you will give birth. You will give birth. They will persuade you. If, no, if not the favor of God, that will locate you. No way you can carry baby in that family. Unless you proceed to adopt. Today, let the seal of that evil covenant be broken. And let destinies be restored to normal. Let God's ordained destiny be restored. Let God's ordained destinies manifest. 
Let God ordain his destiny on his people. Let it manifest in the name of Jesus Christ. Let it manifest in the name of Jesus Christ. Many of these covenants is a covenant that exposed the members of that family into condemnation. They will condemn you and put you in prison, jail, life in jail, for something that you have no idea. Something that you don't even have, you, don't, you, you didn't even go near. Yes, they will find ways, these authors will make sure they get evil men as they condone and they witness against, yes, Jesus Christ our Lord, for them to slay him. Yes, contamination. Covenant that exposed people to contamination. They will condemn your son. They will put him in life in prison. When they get to know that this person is going to be the record breaker, this person will rise up and bring light to this family that we don't want to see light. I keep telling you those days, I was arrested three times. Three times I was arrested. I was summoned in the chief palace more than... Uh, Two, two times. Yes. I was arrested three times. After I, I changed that I got to know Jesus, partial Christian. As even when I moved from the world that I know that I have stopped all these uh, badly things that I was doing, that I, I just entered, go to church every Sunday. I had this, I had this sermon at the, at the chief palace two times. There are some covenant from our background they expose us to dangers. They expose us to dangers. Accident will grab you now. You'll be standing on, at the wayside where the car is not supposed to pass there. The car will somersault, bypass everybody and come and crash you. The car, when it starts somersaulting, it will bypass the, many people. Wherever you are standing, that, that brake will break and it will come and kill you. Yes. Covenant from your background and its altars and the spirit and the demons that are forcing it to happen. That I'm seeing to it that it happens. Wherever you are, the car will chase you and come and kill you. Wherever you are, that deadly animal, that cow, that dog will chase you everywhere and come and eat you up fresh, physically. Dog will be chasing you. These altars in our background. You know, when I told you that when God gave me this, this uh, seven days fasting, I said to myself, I am, the old, I am the first person to sow that seed for my family. Because I know what God spoke to me. It was much, 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 much concerning my own family. They expose us to dangers. They expose us to dangers. I said anything that I am supposed to sacrifice for this thing to cease. From my seat and my brothers and sisters, I will do it. Yes. So many of you, you are not the only one. Those that took part in that sacrifice, you are not the only one who, I am standing for my family here and there. I am standing for my family. Yes. I multiplied my elder sister. Because our, our elders, firstborn is a, a, is a female. I multiplied her age by seven. And I times the price by two. And I, I put in I, every, I went and placed it on the altar of my, 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 my God's father. I said, today I am doing it on behalf of my family. Any blessing that God has ordained in these seven days, let my family benefit. Any deliverance that God is releasing onto the life of his people, let my family take part. My younger sisters and brothers, Deliver them. Deliver them. Recently, I was there. The Lord revealed to me one of my brothers, my younger brothers. You no, know, I keep telling you, my mom had twins. We have two sets of twins. Yeah. I was born twin. My twin is dead. And I have also given birth to twins. So if I give birth again, I will give birth to two boys. That is how in our family we give birth. Yeah. In the twins, you get two sets. You get two girls and you get two boys. Yeah. So anybody that will get that gift, my mom got it. She got two boys and two girls. But unfortunately, my, young, my, 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 my one set, one part of it, she was not all that strong. We just lose it. But we have these two boys. 
and the Lord revealed to me the junior one was handcuffed. Another time, the Lord revealed to me the other one was handcuffed. And when my younger sister go for our church meetings and all these prayers, they will tell her, pray because uh, there is um, a jail or a court case ahead of your mom that your mom is going to spend. I said, I cancel. I cancel this altar and this evil covenant, this agreement, whatever they agreed on it, we remove our head. Me and my mom's children, me and my daddy's children, we remove our head. When I wake up in the morning, I begin to pray as if I am crazy. I begin to cancel it. And when my, my sister called me, say, come and see what your younger brother is doing. I say, you people do not, do, don't do anything because it is not a, a, a physical thing. How can a, a, a young guy that have just uh, completed uh, this senior high school say, if my mom don't allow him to marry, he's going to burn my mom's house. I say, you people don't, don't do anything, whatever he's doing, whatever he wants to give him. We are dealing with the spiritual aspect. When we are able to liberate his soul from that handcuff that they praise him, everything will cut. And as I'm speaking to you now, those days I called him and I said, whatever you, what you are doing, be careful. Because you remember this is the same thing that took my, my mother's elder sister. That is their firstborn, my mother's, the firstborn of my mom. As I'm speaking to you now, I keep sharing this testimony. I keep saying this. They have jailed his pillar. That is the helper in the life of that, my mother's firstborn, their firstborn. They have given him a, a jail of 40 years. A jail of 40 years. A guy that is just 25 years. He's going to serve 40, 40 years. So by the time he gets bail, he is 65 years. I know what I'm talking about. Oh. Many of you, you think we organize this, this program purposely for money, not for money. Oh. We, we organize it to liberate families. We organize this pray, this seven days to set many people free, to break so many things. So I just stood and I said, no way. None of my brothers will be affected with this covenant. I called this my younger brother and he said, you, I told you to give me a thousand to go, and, uh, to go for journalism school. Did you give me? Do you know me? And how this, my younger brother, was speaking to me. I got to know that he's not normal. Because physically, how my younger ones, how they respect me, even before I got the calling of God. They respect me so, 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 so much. And when this, my brother stood on phone, insulted me so badly, I felt I didn't feel bad. Because I knew there was something wrong somewhere. So I begin to organize a fasting for him. I say, Lord, I cancel this. Whatever they are using to transform him, whatever they are using to manipulate his mind, I lose him right now. And as I'm speaking to you now, he's in our, uh, he's, he has visited all the brothers. They are in one place right now. They are in right, one place now. He's saying, I should get money. I should get that money for him to, to go and learn this. He wants he want a journalism school. And now he is so calm. He is so calm. I say, God, I thank you. You know, like they will be doing like this. He'll be fighting here and there. When you see him here, he's busy fighting, beating people. They will jail him. They will jail him. This covenant, they introduce us to contaminations, confusions. So in families, you see them confusion. They will be fighting among themselves. Brother fighting brother. Sister fighting sister. Yes, confusion. Confusion. They will push your heart. They will harden your heart. You will hate your own brother sister. Your own brother sister to the extent that when she dies today, you will never cry. She will hate her. Be, why? Because they will push her for her to afflict your life. They will hide behind her image. They will be using her face all the time to attack you in dream. They will be using the face of your sister to attack you everywhere you go in dream. Sometimes they'll be, he'll be, she'll be beating you in dream. Sometimes you wake up and you feel the beating she gave you. Sometimes she'll be stealing things from your pockets. Sometimes she'll be doing so many things against you and you will see it. They will take the image. So you see it in dreams. So when you wake up, you know that your sister is a witch. 
that your uncle is a wizard, not knowing there is forces from your background that are working through entities or personalities in your family for them to, to set confusion among sister. So sister against sister, brother against brother. What I am telling you now, when you enter my family house, sister against sister, mother's children, my mother's children, other mother's sister's children, they are not close. Mm. Some of them, you greet them mm -hmm. as if they, are, they have problem with you. They don't even, they have not even sit with you one on one before. Maybe when there is a funeral and you just go to that funeral, when they see your appearance, only your appearance, you greet them mm -hmm. as if bees are in their nostrils. They set confusion sister against sister. When this thing is working against your background and you don't rise up to break it, confusion will never cease from that family. Yes, confusion. Confusion and conflict be fighting here and there just to destroy destinies. Today, in the name of Jesus Christ, I declare and declare, let every covenant of spirit of condemnation Spirit of confusion and conflict. Spirit of contamination. Spirit of confusion and conflict in your family. That is destroying destinies in your family. That is destroying life in your family. That is breaking and stopping people in your family. Today, in the name of Jesus Christ, let it be broken. 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 By fire by tender by fire by tender by fire by tender let it be broken let it be broken man delibili be let cabrian de ma capa ya dosa lentorbo ma sun diamam zo broko to le andar ma ma capa let it be broken by fire let it be broken by fire let it be broken by fire any spirit of contamination Spirit of conflict and confusion, destroying destinies and blessings, destroying favors and opportunities in your family line, in your family line, right now in the name of Jesus Christ, let it be broken by fire, let it be destroyed, 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 it be destroyed. by fire, by tender, now I enter your paternal maternal family, now now I am going straight to your father's house. I am going straight to your mother's house. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, any covenant uh, uh, of spirit of contamination, covenant of spirit of confusion, covenant of spirit that disconnect people's life from progress, that disconnect people's life from blessings, that disconnect people's life from favors, that disconnect people's life. Oh my God, from good luck, from, from progress, from serving and lo loving God, in the name of Jesus Christ, for, for, from good health, in the name of Jesus Christ, let it be broken, let it be broken, by fire, by tender, let it be broken, by fire, by tender, let it be broken, by fire, by tender, let it be broken, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Power that disconnect people. They make sure they don't love God. The reason why many people they don't want to hear the name of Jesus. Trace to their background. Trace that there was a covenant. There is a covenant that is disconnecting people's life from the love of God, from good luck. Yes. So they'll be standing. For me, I hate God. I don't want to hear the name of Jesus. I don't want to hear this. I don't even want to go to church. Stop giving your money to pastors. To save your money. Ask him, how many times have, have he been able to save? Go straight to that person. If your money to rent is difficult, go to him personally. When you see him sitting in front of camera, go straight to his life. Dig his life. You see that things are not working. Things are not working. Yes, gathering and scattering, rise up and fall is what he's battling. 
what he's battling, but because he has no knowledge that there is a spirit from his background that is disconnecting him from the love of God. There is a spirit, covenant, a spirit of a specific covenant they made. The spirit behind that agreement, <laughs> the agreement they praised the forefathers or the parents went and even seek for help before they were able to give birth to him or before they were able to give birth to his elder brother. They don't know maybe it is that thing that is disconnecting him from the love of Christ. It is that thing that is disconnecting him from prayerful altars. Many people, they see this altar. They see us on daily basis on the media. They don't even want to see our face. We don't eat their food. We have not made any utterances against them, but they hate us. Why? Because the authors in their background knows that when they face authors like this, the fire that will chase them. They can't survive. So they will make you, they will provoke your heart. They will harden your heart. You hate us until they destroy you. You will hate us. You, will not, you don't even want to see our face until you are destroyed. Until your last breath. Then they leave you. When they destroy you and kill you, and they got to know that you are going straight to their kingdom in the hell fire. They just rejoice. They jubilate. They jubilate. Let the fire of God the consuming fire of Yahweh <laughs> destroy every evil covenant that disconnect people in your family from one progress, from two blessings, from three favors, from four good luck, from five loving God, from six good health, from seven serving God, from eight lo long life. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it be broken today. Let it be broken today. Let it be destroyed today. Let it be broken today. Let it be destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Let it be destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Let it be broken. I lose your life. I lose your soul. I lose the soul of your children. From your first born to your last born. From your first born to your last born. Wherever they went and praise your head. Today I lose you. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. No, let me tell you. Do you know the reason why? I allow you to write those that took part in that sacrifice. That sacrifice. You know the reason why I requested you all your names from your firstborn to your lastborn. This is what God said. He said, make a pronunciation, release a word unto their name. If they can, if they can call somebody's name in the realms of the spirit, make incantation. Just make a pronouncement on that name to put the person's life or his destiny into danger. Your word carries more power, more than them. Make a, a pronouncement unto them that I lose all these names. Yes. Yes. That is why I ask you to write your names for me. Those in Nigeria, I don't know, there are so many ways. They said, uh, we've tried so many ways. We can't receive your money in Ghana. We can't receive your money in Ghana. And I am still praying on it. If God directs me, how you, you do you use it for in, in Nigeria, I will show you. But for now, I don't know. I can't give you any any clue because in Ghana and Nigeria is so close, but I, I don't I don't know. A loving country like this, close country, sister country, but we can't receive money. It's so sad. It is so difficult. So the Nigerians, I know God knows your heart. God knows your heart. And God, whatever God is releasing onto the life of people here, have faith, have faith that you are also, your family is celebrated. Those that are sending me message that you want to stand for your family, you want to stand and do that direction for your family. I am trying always to miss, and I don't, I don't know any Ghanaian with uh, a Nigerian uh, or a Nigerian uh, base in Ghana with uh, an account. Honestly, I don't know. I don't know. I don't have any connection like that. So I am still praying on you people, your situation. And I know the Lord God Almighty will direct me on what to do. It is so sad. This is my first time of knowing this. For this while, I don't know. Ghanaians, we find it difficult to receive our money. 
direct from Nigeria, I don't know. This is my first time. And this is one of the situations that Nigerian president should, should address. They should address, they should find solution. They should find ways and means. Because in Ghana, there are so many African countries, we receive mobile money. We receive mobile money, we send mobile money there. We receive, uh, uh, how do you say, Western Union money gram so quickly. You need not to buy any dollar before we can send to our sisters in, in, in our sister country. It is so bad, it's so pity. And we are pleading to the Nigerian government to do something about it. Because Nigeria is not a village. Nigeria is a, is a, is a city, ancient city. One of the biggest cities in Africa. Or, oh, sorry, the nations in Africa. One of the biggest nations in Africa is Nigeria. And how can such a big nation have these difficulties? It is so bad. They need to address that issue. They need to address that issue. Let's continue. God bless you. If you are here and you want to uh, stand uh, on behalf of your family. Ah, you also don't know. Yeah, that is it. That is the problem. I just, uh, I just got that confirmation. I got it from so many banks. Uh, uh, those in where uh, Egypt say, please, mommy, if some of them, some Nigerians, uh, they send Egypt, they can come to me, I will do it for them to send to Ghana. Oh, okay, then I will give you your contact so that they, uh, I don't know. They say, mommy, I am working where I don't have network in the operation room. Oh, Khadija, sorry, 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 you are working in the operation room. No worry, you're, you are connected to this. Uh, uh, blessings tonight you are connected if you want to stand for your children or stand for your family you are going to use the firstborn's age your firstborn's age you multiply your firstborn's uh, your, your parent firstborn's age by seven and you raise an altar of sacrifice in that amount if you are standing for your children you use the firstborn's age if your firstborn is five years five times seven, and you raise an altar of sacrifice in the currency of where they bury the umbilical cord of that child. If your children were born in Ghana and you took them to Europe, you are paying, you are, you are sacrificing in Ghana city because that is where they bury their placenta and the umbilical cord. If you are standing to liberate your children, to remove their head, from what is happening in your family, what is happening in your father's house, what is happening in your mother's house, what is stopping the people, the sickness that is attacking them, spirit of insanity that is attacking people here and there, that pushes people to smoke and get insane. If you want to liberate your, your, your children's head from that chiasis or from that covenant, you use the first bones age you multiply by seven give an out raise an altar of sacrifice after that you get your anointing oil you call me on whatsapp i will direct you how to go about it i will first of all pray i will use you as a point of contact to stand for the family before i receive your name the names of all of them and after that your children were born in USA. Okay, so you want if you want to stand for your children, you have to pay in USA money. It's a, yeah, serious in Egypt to uh I will have them to send the money to Ghana. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Okay. Where your children was was born, where they buried their placenta, where they buried their umbilical cord, the land that their umbilical cord is on it. The reason why I, I don't want to explain much in public, but I will speak to many of you that, that I, I, I have been speaking to many of you that, are, that have took part. And many people, as they did it, the next day, how people are testifying, the breakthrough that God has given to them, many people receiving things that they didn't even pray for. Yes, honestly, I must tell you, when God gave me this revelation to protect these seven days, God showed me, I, I started sharing this testimony be, from first day to now, today is the final day, so I will share it because maybe today is the first time of somebody joining us. God showed me a corn, a harvested corn. It was like more than two acres. They have harvested it on the ground. The corn was already harvested. Many, 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 many of them, they've removed the cover from it. Many of them, they plug it and it was on the ground. Many of them, they have not even removed it. 
Yes. And it was very, very like two acres, more, more corn harvested on the ground. And I saw a figure written on a board in the middle of it. 385. And the Lord spoke to me that anybody, or these people, these are the people that I am going to liberate. These families will be liberated through this seven days fasting. These families will be liberated. And whatever you sow, when you take that step of faith, you are going to harvest. That is the corn that I saw. You sow and you harvest. You sow and you harvest. You sow and you harvest. Yes. One of our sisters, that she, she, she was the second person to take that step. She was the second person. She said she had this lapse in her breast. Every day, you know, I have been praying that one of you, you are having a problem in your breast. She, she was so closer to me. She didn't tell me. She didn't make mention of it. She didn't tell me. So every day I've been praying, I've been praying, I've been praying. I didn't know she is there. I communicate with her. I call her on WhatsApp. She speak to me. We speak, we chat. I tell her so many things. She never made mention of that thing. Only the day that she did that sacrifice finish. On the next day she went, she said, I did it with faith. She went to the hospital. She went for checkup and he said, now everything is vanished. The lamps on my, uh, lamps on my, my breast they can't find it. Yesterday, you saw those in the global platform. You saw it say, help me glorify God. You saw a message like that. She sent me the full uh, message on WhatsApp. She added her name and so many things. That's why if her name was not in it, I, I could have posted it on even Facebook. Yes, she sowed and she harvested. You know, people that sow with pure hearts, they sow and they harvested. She did something that she did not even care about the, the money. She didn't do that calculation. She said, God laid this on my heart. I know this will be enough. I know this is the amount that I need. She didn't tell me what was behind. Me, I was just pray praying for things that are happening in their background, but she celebrated. So with your faith and how you open your heart to obey the voice of God. You know, anywhere you go, when you go to a place and they tell you, take water, wash your face, do it. Do it. Obedience. You know, when I studied the Bible, when Elijah, Elijah told Naaman, go and swim, dive in the in river, river Jordan for seven times. He said, ah, I think the prophet will lay the hands on me, bro in tongues, deliver me here and there for me to row on the, on the ground. See what he's telling me. See what he's telling me. Yes. See what he's telling me. So he, he decided not to go. He ignored. So one of the people just draw closer to him and say, My Lord, if this prophet could have told you to give you sacrifice your own your whole property, would won't you give it? He said, I would do it. He said, Then why? I haven't added you. Oh, you have to send me a message. Maybe I have you know the names are many. And I don't want to add anybody who have not given me order. Honestly, I respect people's privacy. I have so many people on my WhatsApp. They have not add, told me to add them to the group. Because when somebody not give you that instruction, when you add the person, you add him today, two minutes, the person remove himself. It is like, I don't like it. I don't like it. So you send me a message, I will add you. Yes, you let me know, I will add you. So when Neman obeyed the voice of Elijah to go and swim in that river seven times. By the time he finished the seventh one, he was restored. He was restored. You know, the position he occupied, God only wanted himself to be obedient, to obey his voice as the mouthpiece of God speaking to you. Just to obey. Yes, just to obey. And when he just went and swam in that river seven times, he was, the body, the whole body was restored like a newborn baby. Your miracle sometimes is in your obedience. Okay, I will add you. Your miracle is in your obedience. Obedience. Yes. And you achieve so many things. May God help you. If you have any prayer request, let me pray for you. Today, bring your water because you finished the fasting. 
bring your water and I, i'm going to bless water i am going to bless your water yes i am going to bless your water let me pin my whatsapp if you want if you want me to uh, further explain things to you talk to me on whatsapp from tomorrow i will start praying for um, uh, those that took part today plus two three three five four four nine four uh, 723 plus 233 544 yeah this is my whatsapp okay patience i will add you i will add you if you have any testimony to share you send it to me privately before i i i, I if i will post it i will post it because there are some people in the group they are in for messages. Uh, they are in for information. Yeah, the Lord just told me there are some people that have come to your group. They are in for distraction. Yeah, they are in for distraction. When you gather, that their aim of joining your group it is, is to scatter. Yes. When you gather, they scatter. So be careful. That is why every day I made that announcement that when you have any testimony, send to me at my back door before you post it in the global group. If I read it, and I'm supposed to share it, I will share it. If I'm supposed to wait for it to manifest, for you to give birth, before I post the baby, I will wait for you to give birth. Okay, Khadija, I will call you. Okay, Rosemary, uh, I will pray for your water right now. Lift your water, let me begin to pray for you. Let me begin to pray for the water. It is a divine water right now. In the name of Jesus. Oh, say, mommy, please add me. Add my contact to your WhatsApp group. If you send your contact here, please, I can't do. I can't, I can't get it. I can't get it. Your children, oh, Paulina Mesa, my dear, whatever your children are, may the hand of God be upon them. I, I put the hedge of God around them in the name of Jesus. You know, Everything in this house is enjoying these seven days. So my patient, he said, when we started these seven days, he's so happy, he's so joyful. Yes, so happy, so joyful. Every day he'll be shouting, shouting, shouting. He'll be dancing. Now the hand, he can move. The stroke, he can move the hands. He can dance. He can stretch himself. He can do so many things. Yes, just that he, I know as time goes on, he walk. Only the walking that is left. Only the walking that is left. And I am trusting God to do that before I leave this house. I am trusting God to do that before I leave this house. That is my wish, is for God to let him walk before I leave this house. Uh, please, uh, okay, uh, zero, plus two, three, three, five, four, four, nine, four, seven, two, seven, three. If you need any further explanation, if you need any further explanation on how to go about the direction, send me a message on WhatsApp. I will add you, I will add you. I will explain things to you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, lift your water up. Lift your water up. These seven days, many of you, you are weak. You can't even come to prayers. They have fed you to the stand that you are so, so, so down. You are weak. In the name of Jesus Christ, lift your water. Or you didn't bring water. Lift your water. Lift your water for me. And let me pray for you. Those that need peace in your life. Madam Rose, uh, Rose, may the peace of God be upon your child. Whatever your daughter is in the name of Jesus, I cover her with the pillar of cloud and the pillar of fire. Every attack on your daughter, I liberate her in the name of Jesus Christ of <laughs> Nazareth. If you've not shared the broadcast with all due respect, with all humbleness, do it for me. Share it for me. Share it for me. I am seeing many of you sending your messages. Comfort. You're feeling heavy pain on your right leg and your back. Be relieved in the name of Jesus Christ. Every heavy pain on your right leg and your right. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be released. May God set you free right now. May God set you free right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Madam Rose, your daughter's issue, I will just investigate to know if there is any spiritual or uh, uh, anything behind it in the realms of the spirit, I will deal with it. If it is normal, then I know she's going to stop at the right time. At the right time. Those sending me messages, I will check it when I am, I am done. 
Promise say yes, I'm weak, very weak. Promise anywhere they fed you in the name of Jesus Christ, I command the food to uh, command the Holy Ghost fire to flash out your system. Yes, lift your water up. I know the water is going to purify many of you. The water is going to purify. It is going to purify in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, somebody say, wait for me. Okay. Okay, I am waiting for you. Be fast. Bring your water. Everybody get a cup of water for me. If you don't have cup, uh, if you don't have water uh, with you and you have uh, a free ju juice, you can use it as, yes. If you have any drink, any drink, use it with your feet. Use it with your feet. Many of you that you are in your in working places, you can use your drink or anything that your faith tells you to use it. Uh, yes, use it. Use it so that I release the power of God onto it. Share the broadcast as we are waiting for people to bring their water. Share the broadcast for me right now. Zibi, God bless you. My nephew just told me someone that he will buy all me, kill me. Ah, he will buy all me, kill you. He can't kill you in the name of Jesus. Anybody that, that says I will kill you, may God take, may God let them uh, go and wait for you in the grave. Anybody planning to kill you, let them go and wait for you in the grave. Uh, Darlington, he said, pray for me for total recovery and advancement for this year, 2021. In the name of Jesus Christ, may God advance you. Whatever that you've lost in the name of Jesus, receive the grace to recover. Receive the grace to recover all your lost glories, all your lost opportunities, everything that the enemy has made you lose it. In the year 2021, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for divine recovery. I pray for divine recovery. Any one of you that, that is visiting court this week, uh, this coming week, this coming week, that is the ending of, ending of this month, those going for your document, going to check your document, ending of this month, in the name of Jesus Christ, may the favor of God go before you. May the favor of God go before you. Those that are jobless in our midst, in the name of Jesus, receive the favor to occupy any vacancy around you. May God connect you. Any vacancy, anywhere they are looking for workers, anywhere they are looking for what you want, in the name of Jesus Christ, may the Spirit of God uh, draw you nearer. May the Spirit of God move you to that direction. In the name of Jesus Christ, those mm -hmm. that need a permanent um a permanent place to stay, a permanent place to stay in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, receive it, 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 a permanent house, a permanent house, those that are trusting the government for something great, in the name of Jesus Christ, may they remember you, may they remember you, may they remember you, may they remember you, in the name of Jesus Jesus Christ of Nazareth, those trusting God, trusting God for the fruit of the womb, in the name of Jesus Christ, as you are about to drink this water, in the name of Jesus, I release babies through this water, I release babies, the babies that, that, that formed through free weed, I am using this water as a point of contact in your system. Even if the free weed of your husband cannot uh, make children, cannot produce children, let this water be a supportive or uh, 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 nutrient or give a support to carry it in the name of Jesus Christ. Those of you that, that are breastfeeding, still breastfeeding, in the realms of the sport that is making it difficult for you to get pregnant and breastfeed physically. In the name of Jesus Christ, I release fire to kill that children. I release fire to kill any demonic children. Any children that you're having in the marine kingdom. Any children that you're having in the animal kingdom. Any children that you're having in the name of Jesus Christ. I release fire to consume them. I release fire to roast them. I release fire to roast them. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Le Cabriande, Macapa Yadosa, Madame Paulina, any false accusation, false allegation on your son in the name of Jesus Christ, the God that strike with tender, may he release tender to vindicate. May he release tender from above to 
to give a warning sign that your son is innocent. May he release tender to intervene in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, thank you, Jesus Christ. I release fire into the water in your hand. I release healing into the water in your hand. I release healing. Madam Joan, whatever your mom is, may the hand of God touch you say. The healing hand of God. I destroy every spirit behind that, 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 that epilepsy. I destroy every spirit behind that epilepsy. I destroy every spirit, every forces, every powers behind that epilepsy. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let the fire of God rose that spirit right now. In the name of Jesus, I release power into your water. All those with your water in your hand, I release fire, 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 fire. I release power into the water. As you are about to drink this water, as you begin to drink this water, as you begin to drink this water, right now in the name of Jesus Christ, 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 let the fire in the water approach everything that is implanted in you through evil consumption, everything planted in you through evil injection, everything implanted in you through evil in consumption, food and eating in dreams, eating in dreams, drinking in dreams, drinking in dreams, having sex in dreams, anything introduced into your system, anything introduced into your system, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, to stand your way, to fight your health, to fight your health this year, to make you weak, to put you down, in the name of Jesus, as you are drinking the water, let it flash out, let it flash out, let it flash out, let it flash out, let the power in the the name of Jesus Christ, let it flash out your system right now. Drink your water for me. Le cabriante ma capa ya dosa lento robo ma sunda ya ma zobro koto le andar ma ma cabriante ma capa ya dosa lento robo ma sunda ya ma zobro koto le andar ma ma cabriante ma capa ya dosa Jesus. Yes, as you have drunk the water, I command the healing power that did a miraculous job, a miraculous work in the book of Ezekiel 37. Let it begin to repair all dry bones in you. Let the healing power that did miraculous job in Ezekiel 37, let it begin to resurrect everything that is dead in you. Let it revive you. Let it revive you. Let it resurrect your dry bones. Your dry bones. Your dry bones. Let it resurrect from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. To, from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Let the power of God revive you. Let the power of God resurrect you, restore you, restore you, restore you, restore you, restore you, restore your health right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I give the water in your system a command. As God has given the blood in our system a command and access to move through every part of our body, I give this water a command. I give this water a command in your system to move from the head, from the head. Let it begin to cringe. Let it begin to glob. Let it begin to gather from your head like a tsunami gathering uh, stars, like a tsunami gathering things from the earth, from the earth. Let it gather anything deposited in your head to make you insane, anything deposited in your head to give you headache, anything deposited in your head to make your head so swell or heavy, to swell your head, to swell your head. To 
right now in the name of Jesus, moving down to your throat, moving down to your heart, moving down through your esophagus to your first and second intestine. In the name of Jesus Christ, your liver, your kidney, let it wash, 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 let it wash. Everything deposited in you right now in the name of Jesus Christ, fresh out those that are supposed to come out through urine. Right now, I put fire on you. Right now, those that are supposed to come out through urine, the excess sugar, excess salt. Right now, I command you come out, 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 come out by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. I press fire on you. I press fire on you. I press fire on you. Come out in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out right now. I fresh your system. Anything deposited, your oval, anything broken, 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 any clot of blood anyway, any clot of fat anyway, begin to melt. Mm. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, melt any lumps in the breast, lumps in the breast, come out, pains in your backbone. I know you can hear my voice. I know you can hear my voice. Asthmas, I know your time. This is your time. Asthmas, I know this is your time. I release fire to wherever you are receive fire i know this is your time i know this is your season season of oppression season of oppression convulsions in children epilepsy 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 i know this is your season right now out in the name of jesus 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 oh my god man deliberate me Come out in the name of Jesus Christ. I am speaking to you right now, wherever you are hiding. Now I surround your dwelling place where you have packed, come to live, where you have you pack your things to come and live. I surround that dwelling place with fire. With fire, with fire, with consuming fire, with consuming fire, with consuming fire, with consuming fire. And I auction you to come out, pack your things in the name of Jesus. Move, blood pressures, hypertensions, 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 diabetes, under the sound of my voice, or variances, oh, man, daily belly beam, all says, highness, pack out in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out any pains in the heart, any pain in the heart, any stiffness, any neck that is stiff under the sound of my voice right now. One of you just log in, you're having a stiffness neck right now in the name of Jesus. Be restored, be restored in the name of Jesus Christ. The God that sent us uh, and said, after we proclaim the gospel, we should heal all manner of sickness, we should heal all manner of sickness we should heal all manner of sickness today i command all manner of sickness under the sound of my voice right now to come out in the name of jesus christ come out in the name of jesus christ any means that you got access to enter the body use that medium to come out use that medium to out use that medium to exist from the life from the body in the name of jesus christ of nazareth come out from the body every sickness that have name under the sound of my voice cancers <laughs> here is not your dwelling place oh. you've made a mistake asthmas You've missed your path of variances. You've missed your path. Spirit of barrenness. You've missed your path. In the name of Jesus Christ. Impotency. 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 Infertility. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. You've missed your path. Receive fire and pack out. Oh, Jesus. Hepatitis B. HIV S. COVID-19, COVID-20, in the name of Jesus Christ, I know you can hear my voice. 
I know you know me. You know me. And you can hear my voice. I didn't come here to negotiate with you. Right now, I am speaking to you. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. Every sickness under the sound of my voice. Every sickness under the sound of my voice. From the adult to the, to the newly born babies. Complications associated with childbirth, autisms be restored in the name of Jesus Christ. Autisms under the sound of my voice right now be restored, be restored, be restored. Handicaps, le cabriente, macapayadosa, le intolopo, masundayama. Zo brokoto le antarma makapa. Zuri makata yama le antarma makapia de. Be restored in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, problem with sight. Seeing, hearing, feeling. In the name of Jesus, be restored. In the name of Jesus Christ, be restored. In the name that is above all name, be restored. In the name that is above all name, autism, be restored. In the name that is above all name, autism, be restored to normal. Be restored to normal. Be restored to normal. Be restored to normal. Oh, man, dilly, dilly, I am seeing a baby. A baby so hot, so hot, so hot. In the name of Jesus Christ, let that feverish move. Let that feverish, let it vanish. Let it vanish. Let it vanish. I am seeing somebody with this cream in the ear. Cream in the ear. I don't know that, that, that secretion in the ear. In the name of Jesus Christ, be restored right now. Be restored right now. Anything that will affect your hearing, I destroy. Anything that will affect your hearing, today be restored. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It's a please pray for we. We don't. That the so called holiness pastors in London and Germany are putting fear in our life. And destroy our marriages. No, God didn't give us the spirit of fear. God didn't give us the spirit of fear. We serve a God who doesn't fail. We serve a God who can make changes at any time. He said, We should not fear. That shall not fear. Any fear that they are invading in you, in the name of Jesus, I cast it out. Any attacks on your marriage, in the name of Jesus, let it be restored. Any demon that is introduced verbally or non-verbally into your marriage to cause distraction, today I cast it out in the name of Jesus Christ. And whatever is binding that marriage, I lose it. I lose that darkness. Any darkness covering that marriage, in the name of Jesus Christ, let it be broken. God is against divorce for the sake of the life of innocent children. The life of children, in the name of Jesus, may God visit your home. Any marriages that are still under attack, under the sound of my voice, I release angels to visit your home. I release angels to visit your home. I release angels to visit your home. In the name of Jesus Christ, any ministry under the sound of my voice, as we are crossing, that is under attack, in the name of Jesus Christ, I release God's protection into that ministry, any business that is collapsing, any soul that is backsliding, any soul that is swimming, swimming, swimming backward into iniquity, swimming backward into the world. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I liberate you. I secure you. I secure your life. I secure the life of your children. I secure the life of your family. I secure the life of everybody in Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Anything that will let you backslide, may God Almighty hold you firm. Our uh, brother Emmanuel, so please pray for my school and good health and long life and marriage, my job, my children's, my daughter's and friend's life. In the name of Jesus, may God visit your school. May God visit your school. Any demon that will step his foot in that school to go and, 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 and just examine or, 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 or spy that school, to destroy, let that person paralyze physically. Anybody that would take the, the, the flag or, 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 or the, the anything representing your school to go and cover that school. On their way going, let them be afraid.
infected with stroke. Let the angel of stroke strike them. Let the spirit of stroke strike them. Let the spirit of stroke strike them. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. One of you, you are feeling pain in your thighs. It is like pain in your, you feel it like, like something in your bone or something like that. You feel so pain in your thighs. I don't know who is that. But be released in the name of Jesus Christ. Any pain in one of your leg. Any pain in one of your leg. Any pain in one of your leg. In the name of Jesus Jesus Christ, I lose you. Any accident ahead of one of you, accident, severe fatal accident, in the name of Jesus, I cancel. 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 Ah, patience. I lose you in the name of Jesus Christ. I lose you in the name of Jesus Christ. I lose you in the name of Jesus Christ. Sister Rose, I lose you in the name of Jesus Christ. I lose you in the name of Jesus Christ. Christ. I lose you in the name of Jesus Christ. Le kabiande makapayadosa. Le intorobo masundayaman. I lose you right now. I cancel every accident. I cancel every accident. Those heading going to the, the delivery room this week, this month, in the name of Jesus, may the power of God, may the spirit of God go before you. May God grant you safe delivery. May God remember you in the, in the delivery room as he remembered the Hebrew woman. The Hebrew woman, the Hebrew woman, the Hebrew woman, that when they were surrounded by the, the enemies that were in to devour their male sons, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, may God remember you in the labor room. May God remember you in the delivery room when you are in labor. May God remember you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, Lake Kabiande, one of your leg patients be restored in the name of jesus christ one of your leg be restored any pain in your leg pain in your leg i arrest that pain right now in the name of jesus i arrest that pain right now in the name of jesus i arrest that pain right now in the name of jesus i arrest that pain right now in the name of jesus pain in your backbone oh jesus abdominal pains one of you as i'm speaking you don't hear because it is so bad one of you, as I'm speaking, you can't hear. You can't even have time. You can't even hear. Yes, because the pain, that monthly pain is so, so, so terrible on your side. Today will be the last time you experience that pain. I, I, I liberate you in the name of Jesus Christ. And I command your menstrual cycle to be normal. Let it turn from that, that stage to a normal stage as every ordinary woman in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. One of you that you are not in your in your in the in the in the in the in the, in the age that you are supposed to stop seeing broad, that it is not coming in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Whatever has blocked that that broad from from functioning every month, today I liberate you. Today I liberate you. Today I liberate you. Today I liberate you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every abnormality under the sound of my voice be, be restored to normal. Every mm -hmm. abnormality be restored to normal. Every abnormality be restored to normal. Every abnormality be restored to normal. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I present all uh, students under the sound of my voice. You also feel in that your left leg. Madam Joanne, be relieved in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Be relieved in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let me pray for students. Any accident, a fatal accident uh, uh, if, uh, uh, that is prepared for uh, one of the schools. One of the schools. I don't want to put fear in any mother, but I know God will cancel, so don't panic. Don't panic. It is, in, uh, it is what is planned in the realm of the spirit. I can describe the school. I can I can describe their uniform, but I don't want any mother to panic because God just wants to liberate that school. I don't want any mother to panic. I want us all to join our faith together to pray for children. Our school have resumed. 
as school have resumed. We are praying for divine protection. Two minutes, then we go. Open your mouth and pray for divine protection of our children. Every now waiting to destroy our children in school. Every trap that they've set through accident, through bus crash, through bus crash, through accident. Every snail that they've set in schools waiting for our children. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let that snail be broken. Let it be destroyed. Let it be broken. Let it be destroyed. Let it be broken. Let it be destroyed. Every plans of the enemy against our life, against our children, waiting to destroy our children in schools. In the name of Jesus Christ, we destroy. We scatter. We destroy. We scatter. We cancel every accident waiting for our children in school. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we cancel every accident waiting for our children in school. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, anywhere the devil is planning accident for our children, accident for our school children, we destroy by fire. I cover you all as you are moving from here. I cover your ministries. I cover your handwork. I cover your businesses. I cover the life of your husband, the life of your wife, your mother, your father, your brothers, your cousins, your aunties, your uncles, wherever they are. I cover them with the pillar of cloud and the pillar of fire. May the protection of God be upon them. May the mighty hand of God locate them. Wherever they are heading towards you, if they are heading towards danger, may God deliver them. May God deliver them. May God deliver them. May God deliver Deliver them. May God deliver them. If they are heading towards danger, may God deliver them. May God deliver them. May God deliver them. May God deliver them. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. May the peace of God that passes all understanding be it and rip your heart. May God put a hedge around you and your family, your children, everything in your name. As he did for Job, as you are moving from here, may God connect you to perfect man. As today is the last day, the single ladies go and sin no more, go and dwell in fornication no more. The single men go and masturbate no more, go and rob no, no more, but go and, and dwell in the righteousness and the holiness of God. May the peace of God be with you. May the angels of God go before you in everywhere you go everything you do your businesses your marriages your churches your investment your finances everything may god protect it in jesus name i pray for you amen god bless you amen i receive it in jesus name yesterday how people were chasing me it wasn't easy they were chasing me here and there i know any of the families any of the families that we are, we are, we are just, we just want to liberate. And I said, I will, I will tell you, I don't want to tell many of the things. Any of the families, you get to the entrance, you see a very big snake like this. Yes, he doesn't want anybody to enter the house. And the snake wanted, to, he just want to just come on you. Yeah, it's a snake. Many of, many of you, a very, very big, big, big black snake. Very big black snake. Yes, yesterday I saw it. I saw that black snake in front of one of the family house. It, it has opened the mouth so wildly, so angry in front of that door. I say, ah, whether you are angry or not, I will, I, will, I, will enter. I will enter because I am on assignment in this house. The father, I am on assignment. I'm not going. I'm not going. And later they turned to so many, many people. They were chasing me here and there. <laughs> yeah. They'll be driving you here and there. It's not easy. Yeah. Let's share the grace as we go. Our time is up. Let's share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Oh, Amen. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. So help me, God. Amen. I, I will remember you all your family. The Nigerians, I will know what to do by tomorrow. I will provide you people today, and I know God will direct me on you people. God willing, tomorrow you hear from me. God bless you so much. Love you all.
Love you all. Take care. Bye-bye.